Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be working with a quick twisty flow to help us get going with our day, to help us feel amazing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's do this, let's go straight to the floor, roll out your mat, see you there. Today we're gonna to start in a kneeling position or if that's uncomfortable, you can do any comfortable sitting position. We're just gonna relax everything, relax the shoulders, the hands, let it all hang. You can close your eyes if that feels good. Let's take a moment here just to disconnect from everything that happened today, disconnect from the past, from the future, and let's arrive in this present moment. If you have an intention that you'd like to set for today's class, go ahead. Let's start our practice today connecting with three purifying breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, release. Big inhalation, opening up. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. We're gonna slowly start bowing your head and whenever you are ready, just gently open your eyes. Let's start by reaching the right hand out to the right side and with the left arm we're going to reach all the way to the right, opening the left shoulder, don't let it collapse, reaching as far as we can for a nice little stretch as we inhale, exhale, come back to center, let's go to the other side, left hand down, right arm reaching all the way to the left, same idea, feeling the opening on the right side of your body, one more inhalation and slowly come back to center. We're gonna add a little twist, so the left hand is gonna come to the outside of the right knee. The right hand can be on the floor behind or on your lower back. So we're gonna inhale, grow taller. Exhale, open and twist, look into the right shoulder. Opening one more breath. And slowly reverse. We do the other side, right hand outside of the left knee, left arm lower back or on the floor. And we're gonna open and twist. Inhale to grow, exhale to twist. One more breath. And slowly reverse to the center. Interlace the hands behind. Try to send the hands to the back. We're gonna open the chest, look up as we inhale. Exhale, try to bring the torso halfway or all the way down as the arms are reaching up and forward. A little bit opening heat on those shoulders. We got one more inhalation. Exhale, reverse, slowly back into seating. Last thing we do here, we're gonna release the hands. We're gonna reach the arms forward. We're gonna do cat and cow, but from seating position. So from here, as we inhale, we're gonna open the arms, open the chest, open the heart, look up, getting the energy in. Exhale, reverse, we round, we contract, we have an imaginary person here looking down, belly in. Two more times, inhale, opening the heart, the chest, looking up. Exhale, reversing, contracting, belly in. Last one, inhale, opening even more, preparing us for our practice. Exhale, reverse, this time as we reverse, we contract and we grab opposite elbows. For this last one here, we're gonna keep grabbing the elbows, we're gonna come up to sitting as the elbows come on top of the head, here trying to send the arms behind the ears, and one more inhalation, sending the elbows back, opening up as we inhale. Exhale, release, reaching the arms forward, passing through your table, tuck the toes, and we're gonna go straight to the first downward facing dog. You can walk the dog, you can move the hips, do whatever your body needs right now to prepare us for our practice. We got one more breath here, deep inhalation, and deep exhalation. Good, inhale, look up and step by step let's walk all the way towards the front of your mat all the way forward once we get there hands to your shins inhale look halfway up exhale fall forward inhale let's come all the way up arms come up hands through the center and we go all the way down hands to the floor inhale look halfway up 
exhale, hands on the floor. We're gonna step into the plank for this first one, making sure the shoulders are on top of your hands. Holding it here for one more inhalation, keeping the neutral spine. As we exhale, we drop the knees on the floor, modify your chaturanga, elbows pointing back, forming a 90 degree angle with the arms. Hold it for three, two, in your one, inhale to upper facing dog or cobra. Exhale, let's go back to the downward facing dog. We do two breaths here. Let everything go. That was the modified version of the vinyasa. You are free to do that version at any moment today. Listen to your body. We got one more breath. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Inhale, look up. We're gonna jump or step all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Arms come up. Hands through the center, coming all the way down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jumping or stepping back to your vinyasa, your variation of the vinyasa. Move with your breath. Pass through that upper dog. And let's meet back in the downward dog. We got one breath here to start our practice. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Let the head hang in the downward dog. All right, to start our sequence, we're gonna stay in downward dog, pressing the hands against the floor. We're gonna start sending the hips back as we bend the knees, but the knees are gonna rotate to point towards the left side as we send the weight all the way back, getting a little twist here. Holding it here, and then as we inhale, we're gonna shift forward, facing the floor, coming to plank. Let's do the other side. Send the weight back, but the knees are pointing to the right, get a little twist. Inhale, come to plank. Last one, regular one. Sending the way back, knees pointing forward. And this one, as we inhale, we shift forward to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg comes up, three legged dog, right leg extended. Right knee towards your left elbow, transfer the weight to the right hand. And we're gonna try to extend the right leg out to the side, the left arm reaching up, using the core, hold for the inhalation. Now we transfer left hand down, right knee to nose. Transfer to left hand, left foot. We're gonna come into a side plank tree pose version. Right arm reaching up, holding it here for the inhalation. Exhale, reverse, right hand down, knee to nose. Transfer to the right hand one more time. And this time with the left hand, we're gonna try to grab that outside of the right knee and we're gonna try to pull it up. Get a little twist here. Stay in that twist. For three, two, one, reverse, left hand down, right leg goes up, and we're gonna go all the way to our wild thing here. Drop the right foot, right hand can come to your half prayer. Looking up, hip higher. Stay there for one more inhalation. Exhale, right hand down, right knee to nose. Last one, right leg is gonna extend towards the left side, just like we did at the beginning, but this time we let the right foot drop, we let the hip drop, facing the corner of the mat here. Arms are gonna reach up as we inhale, and the right hand is gonna reach towards the outside of the left foot, and we're gonna try to kiss the left leg first. Stay here for one more breath. Use the left hand here to help you. We're gonna try to grab that left foot and we're gonna try to bring it up all the way to reach towards the right foot, keeping it up. Maybe left hand comes off, we look towards the left side just for the inhalation. And then we exhale, bend both knees, hands on prayer. We're gonna rotate, get in a little twist to face the front of your mat. Knees are pointing up. An option to transfer to our side crow here. So we drop the hands on the floor. We bring the outside of that right leg towards the left arm and maybe finding that side crow. Holding it there. Four, three, two, in your one, drop the feet, rotate so the knees are pointing forward, hands on prayer coming into your chair. Good job, guys. From here, we add a little twist. Left elbow outside of the right knee, open and twist. Look to the right shoulder, making sure both knees are in one line. Sometimes the left knee wants to go forward. Open and twist a little more. 
Now we're gonna keep the connection of the left arm and the right leg. We're gonna look down, transfer the weight to the left foot, and slowly see if we can bring the right foot off the mat. Coming up to standing, keeping that connection, keeping the twist. Once you get to standing, we open the arms and we open the right leg. For the last second, maybe look out for the right hand, and then reverse face the front, right knee to chest. Right leg is gonna go back, passing through your warrior tree. We're gonna transfer to our revolve half moon here. So the right hand is gonna reach towards the floor and the left arm is gonna reach up to the ceiling. Getting a little twist just for the inhalation and then drop the right foot behind, both hands on the floor, hips facing forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Get that forward fold first here, get a nice stretch. Let's hold it for one more breath. And we're gonna start reaching the hands back. We're gonna bring the right heel up, bend the right knee and transfer the weight towards the right heel. Once you're there and if you feel balance is good, we're gonna bring the hands off the mat, torso pointing up, finding the balance here. If the balance is feeling good today, mine is not. Option to bring the left heel a little bit off the mat for a second, and then stepping the left foot just on the outside of the right foot. Kneeling position, heels off the floor, knees pointing forward. Last thing here, we're gonna open and twist, look into the right shoulder, open the arms, look into the right hand, and we're gonna let the knees drop forward gently and the right hand reaches back. A little reach to the back here, you can bend the right elbow to get a little deeper. And come back up to center, facing the front, arms reaching forward. We're gonna transfer the weight to the heels towards the feet, transfer and extend the legs as we keep reaching forward, forming a beautiful table here, nice and long spine. Last thing we do here, we have two options. We can walk forward to your plank or a little more challenging if you're feeling comfortable. We're gonna let ourselves drop straight to your chaturanga with control. Inhale to upper dog, exhale to downward dog. Right leg comes up, last thing we do, Right knee to nose, dropping into the pigeon, facing the front. Hips are facing forward. We can look up for the inhalation. As we exhale, we do just one breath, bending the elbows, bring the torso down. Inhale, come up to the pigeon. Slowly from here, we're gonna let the hips sit down so the left leg can come forward. And we're gonna try to bring the double pigeon pretty much here. Bringing the left foot on top of the right knee. It's not a cross-legged position. Trying to have both blocks on the arm, on the legs. Hands can be on the floor here. Nice and long spine. If you're feeling good, we add a little twist. Left hand just like the warm up outside of the right knee, right hand lower back, and we open and twist, looking to the right. Slowly reverse. Other side, right hand outside of the left knee, left hand to the back, open and twist, looking left and slowly reverse. Good job, guys. Reach the arms forward. We're gonna lean back, transfer to our bow pose here. Knees bended or knees extended. Hold it for three, hold it for two. In your one, cross the legs, hands in front. Jumping or stepping back, go to your vinyasa to reset before we go for the final side. Let's take two breaths here, do whatever you need before we start. Let's take one more breath. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. We're gonna start with those reaches to the back, adding those little twists. So keep pressing the hands against the floor. We're gonna start sending the weight back, but the knees are gonna point to the right as we send the weight all the way back. Inhale, shifting to face the front to your plank. Exhale, all the way back, knees pointing left. Pressing against the floor with the hands. Inhale, come to plank. Last one, regular one. All the way back, knees are staying pointing forward. Inhale, shift into plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upper dog. Exhale to downward dog. Left leg comes up, three-legged dog, left leg extended. 
Left knee towards the right elbow, right hand comes off, left leg extends. Using the core, reach to the ceiling as you inhale. Right hand down, knee to chest, transfer to the right hand. Side plank, three pose version. Left arm reaches up, hip higher. Hold it as you inhale. Exhale, left hand down, knee to nose, this last one. With the right hand, we grab the outside of the left knee and we're gonna try to pull it up here. Trying to get a little twist, controlling the balance. Hold it there and reverse. Hand on the floor, drop into that wall thing. Left hand on half prayer, hip higher. Get that nice stretch, one more inhalation. Exhale, left hand down, knee to nose. This time the left foot extends to the right, goes through, and we let the hip drop on the floor. Now, in this one, left arm, as you reach up, is gonna go to the outside of the right foot and try to kiss the right leg here. Stay for a breath. Use the right hand to help you. Push away the floor so the right foot can come up. Join the left leg. Keep it where it is, nice and long spine. Option to release the right hand to the back and add a little twist. Look into the right hand. We got one more breath there. And slowly reverse, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, hands on prayer. Right arm outside of the left knee and we're gonna get towards a side crow if it is in your practice. Dropping the hands on the floor, preparing for that, transferring to your arms, one or both feet off the mat for three, two, and one, drop the feet, knees pointing forward, heels on the floor, hands on prayer. Almost there, guys. Last little part here. Right elbow outside of the left knee to get that twist. Open and twist. Trying to use the elbow as a tool to help you twist a little more. Stay there for one more breath. Now look down towards the right foot and keeping the connection of the right arm and left leg, we're gonna start bringing the left foot off, trying to come all the way up to standing. Once you get to standing, we open the arms, open the left leg just for the inhalation, looking back. Exhale, hands on prayer. We're gonna transfer to warrior three first. Left leg to the back, control the balance. Left hand comes down this time, and the right arm is gonna try to reach up for a little extra twist here. Right arm up, left leg up, one more inhalation. Right hand down, drop the left foot all the way back, making sure the hips are facing forward. Inhale, look up, exhale, fall forward. Get that fall first. Staying here, one more breath. And once you are ready, hands reaching back, left heel up, then the left knee transfer the weight towards the left heel. If the balance is good, hands come on prayer. If you have an amazing balance today, you wanna add extra challenge, you are welcome to try to bring the right heel a little bit off the mat for a second, and then step in the right foot beside the left foot. Find the balance, hands on prayer, relax the shoulders. Last little thing we do, open and twist, look into the left shoulder. Drop the knees, open the arms, and left hand reaches to the back, right arm reaches all the way back. Getting that nice twist, one more inhalation, reverse. Both arms reaching forward, keeping that nice control. We're gonna drop the heels, transfer to feet, extend the arms and reach forward with a beautiful table. Stay there for a nice inhalation, nice and long spine. And as we exhale, you know your options, either walking to Chaturanga or with control, drop into your Chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog, exhale, downward dog. Almost there, left leg up, three-legged dog, left knee to dose, and we come into the pigeon. Facing the front, adjusting, modifying as much as you need to, so the hips are facing forward. Inhale, stay there. Exhale, you can bend the elbows to bring the torso for a second on the floor, and then come back up. Now we're gonna sit on the hip, let the right leg come forward, trying to have both legs 
in two blocks here. One on top of it, each other. It's not cross-legged, hands can be behind. We look up. If you did the twist in the first side, do the same thing in the second side. If not, just stay in this position. Those who are going for the twist, right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand lower back, open and twist, look into the left shoulder, and reverse. Last one, left hand outside of the right knee, right hand lower back, inhale to grow, exhale to twist, and slowly reverse. Reach the arms forward, leaning back, knees bended or knees extended in the boat. We can either stay on the floor here or if you wanna do one last vinyasa before we stay on the floor. This is your time, cross the legs, hands in front, last vinyasa, moving slowly, move with your breath. Back into downward dog and once you're ready, look up, jump or step into a sitting position that is gonna take us all the way back all the way back to the floor and bring those knees to your chest here hugging them or rocking whatever feels good we're gonna stop in the center last final twist right knee stays where it is left leg comes down pull the right knee to the chest just for the inhalation and the left hand is gonna grab the outside of the right knee pull it across your body open the right arm out to the side you can stay like that or you can bend the left knee and grab the left foot for the quad stretch. Stay here for one more breath. Slowly release and twist. Left knee comes in as well. Extend the legs up to the ceiling. One quick plow just to reset. Hips go up, toes reaching back. Stay in there for three, two. In your one, slowly rolling the hips down. Left knee to chest, right leg down. Interlacing and pulling the left knee in for the inhalation. Right hand outside of the left knee, pull it across your body, open the left arm. If you did the quad stretch in the first side, bend the right knee, grab the right foot, and just open into that twist. We got one more breath there. And slowly and twist, both knees to chest. Finish with a happy baby here. Whatever feels good for you. If you wanna work in any inversion at this moment, you can go ahead. If you had enough for today, you're feeling good, you are ready to continue your day, we're just gonna reach the legs and the arms to the ceiling, let the blood come back into your heart, and we're gonna shake it all. Shake everything, shake the hands, shake the legs, shake the feet, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And once you are done, stop, and let's go to the final and well-deserved Chavasana. Let it all go, guys. Let the feet fall out, eyes close. Allow your body to absorb everything that we work today. It was a pleasure guiding you through this practice today. I really hope you have fun, and I hope I get to see you again very soon. Namaste.